James. LeBron James all the way in. Here comes Simmons the other way. Three on two. Simmons eludes the defender and lays it in with that. Certainly the length altered that shot. Not a good one. Steps. Crunches. Puts the defense with the dribble. <laughs> do you want to talk about a little bit of a Joakim Noah Knicks move, or do you want to save that for our team talk? Let's, we can just discuss that now, because I don't think it's necessarily important. Yeah, just like a quick recap of... So the Knicks are reportedly looking to trade somebody from their team. Right. Because they don't want to waive anyone, and they don't want to take any any hits on their salary by, you know cutting somebody with guaranteed money that they owe them. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to trade somebody because they have Joe Kim Noah and they want to play him, I guess, which I think is pretty crazy, but we'll see how I mean, it works if out. you're paying that much money for him, at least get on the floor. I, I guess so, yeah. Um, so they're looking to trade Mendaugas Kuzminskas, the Latvian mm -hmm. legend. He's not a legend. But he's not. He's, I love him though. He's honestly not awful. No, he's not bad, and that's why I was shaking my head because I think he could be not to just kind of like cut right to the chase, but I think he could be a lot better than Joe Kim Noah. I I would agree, minus the fact that he is like twenty eight years old. So it's not like he has a lot of time to develop, which is right. kind of what he needs. Like he's getting better, right? But he needs time to develop, and he's already kind of old. So if you're trading somebody. I would rather it be him than any of the other players that mm -hmm. we have at the moment. Right. And they can't tr like they can't cut Jarrett Jack cuz since we've gotten him, we're 5 and 1. Yeah. We're 5 and 1 with Jarrett Jack on the team. So you can't cut him. Ramon Sessions, I wouldn't be mad if they cut him. But it's like I think his he has the veterans Contract, the veteran gimmick, like the veterans minimum, which yeah. is guaranteed money. So if they cut him, they owe him three million dollars or whatever the veterans minimum is. Right. I think that's it's something along those lines. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to take that three million dollar hit just for Noah, but I mean maybe honestly maybe they put Noah out there and he makes our defense a little bit better. But I, I just think he's just been he's one of those players. And I'm, I know we're going to refer back to the gimmick cast. If you guys haven't watched it, check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, this sort of prime thing. I think this is like my key point for the rest of like just sports in general. Just the prime. Everyone has a different prime. So I think Joakim Noah's prime has already happened with the oh, Bulls. well, years ago. And, you know, it was on the decline when he was on the Bulls as well. But now that he's on the Knicks, I think it just uh, kind of magnifies how much he has really been on the decline. And I think he's not he's never going to get to the point that he was at the Bulls ever. He's never going to do it again. He's too old. He think he's 33 or 32. I also did say Kuzminskas is Lithuanian or whatever, or yeah. Latvian. He is. He, I said he's uh, Latvian. He's Lithuanian. So excuse me. <laughs> um, I think Joachim Noah did suffer a lot from the drama of the Knicks team last year. Like yeah. I feel like he was one of the big... Uh, people who was hurt by all of that. Mm -hmm. Him, Carmelo, and Chris Stapps really suffered from the the Phil Jackson stuff last year. So what who, about maybe the... he comes back and he plays half decent. It could happen. I wouldn't be mad at it because then it makes his contract not the worst waste of money of all time. So, like you said, might as well get some value out of him. He has $72 million dollars left on his contract. Yeah, I mean, he's probably chilling in Manhattan in his penthouse suite, just, you know, splashing around on the money. Oh, he's he's a happy man. He's got a lot of money. He doesn't have to do very much for it. Why not? His team is actually playing pretty good now, too. So, so I mean, like you said, if, if we can get some value out of him, I think the Knicks could make some noise. <laughs> Maybe I don't. I just don't know if we want him. Is the <laughs> I don't know if we want that kind of noise. <laughs> That's the next question. Uh, yeah. You ready to move on to the uh, NBA player ranking? Let's talk about it. We're 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 wrapping up with the player rankings. Bernie's a little heated. I guess so am I. Just I'm, a little bit heated. I mean, I'm pr I'm pretty heated about it. There's there are some questionable questionable uh, 
people on that list for damn sure. If I can find it, I had it here and then it just went away. There it is. No, that's not it. It's on the ESPN homepage. I had it here and now I'm just. Bear with us. We're navigating through this awful website. And there it is. Nope, that's not it. Did they delete it? I think they deleted it. I swear I was on it just here. They deleted it. Hold on. Hold on, Gimmick Cast Nation. I said the Gimmick Cast Nation. Fusion Corp Nation. Cut that last part. I will definitely cut that out. I found it. I found it. Here, go back to ESPN. Go to their NBA. <laughs> NBA tab. They're trash. They're trash. They're hiding this. They're hiding this because they knew they'd, they'd fucked up. They done, they, done, they done fucked up. Excuse my language. R.I.P. to Roy Halladay. That's a shame. That is a shame. You know, prayers and condolences to their family. 40 years old. Keep going down. It's quite a bit. <laughs> it's like a one of those little tabs. Oh, Thorne Hayward shooting those chair shots. Nope, not that one. Keep going. No, okay. I will definitely put a please. <laughs> oh, hold on. It's back up a little bit. the hell is this, ESPN? What are you doing? Is this one, right? No, that's the power right. rankings. There it is. Look, it's hidden. They've hidden it. All right, we're back now. We're back. Give me a cast... Fusion Corp charge. I keep saying gimmick cast. This is the charge. This is the charge. So let's go over the top ten. I'm so new the, here. I'm new here. No, you just needed the charge. It's all right, though. Let's make sure we welcome him with open arms. But let's move on here. So number one, of course, is LeBron James. Okay. Uh, number two, James Harden. I would argue that James Harden should be number one. Definitely had a good, good, uh, good week there. Damian Lillard, number three. You know, 30-point games. 30-point game's a little high, though. Uh, Bradley Beal at number shot. four. He had a, a crazy week. Anthony Davis at number five. Okay. The Porzing God himself, Kristaps right. Porzingis, put him at number six. Put him higher. They're winning games. He's scoring 40 points. you got to put the man higher. Number seven, Steph Curry with the shot. <laughs> number eight, Andre Drummond. Okay. Number nine, Kevin the Cupcake Durant. And number 10, Joel Embiid, the dude. What, before I go, what do you find annoying about this list? First and foremost, and I guess maybe this could be up for debate, right? But I would pick Ben Simmons over Joel Embiid to be the 76er represented on this list. Right. He plays more minutes, he's getting triple doubles, and he's, they're winning games. That's that's first and foremost. Secondly, Chris Stapps has got to be higher than six. The Porzingis got to be higher. He's got to be higher than six. He's got to be higher than Bradley Beal. He's got to be higher than uh, I'd pick him over Anthony Davis right now too. Mm -hmm. He's at least four, probably three right now in the league, it, especially this last week. Then. I don't want to take your big one because I'm heated about that. I'm going to leave your big one for you because there is an obvious one that's not on here. Uh, like I said, I think Harden should be number one because his team is winning games. Mm -hmm. LeBron had one great game where they won a big game, mm -hmm. but they've also lost some, some real trash games this week. Right. Uh, I think, honestly, that might be about it. You're, the next one that you're about to throw out, though, is the, the biggest concern of the whole list for sure, though. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's start it off. So, if you don't know, the Celtics, they're nine. They're on a nine-game winning streak. You know, good winning streak. I would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would say, you know, it's getting up there in the winning streak. Not saying they're going to break the all-time game winning streak, but nine is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They've been playing out of their minds right now. Brad Stevens is coaching this team very well. They've come back from behind from a Thunder team that has three all-stars on it. And I usually don't fan like this because I don't try to be like a fanatic. But the the abolished or not the abolishment, but the no no love for Uncle Drew on this list. If you guys don't know, Uncle Drew is Kyrie Irving. 
No love for Kyrie Irving on this list. On a yeah. nine-game winning streak, scoring 25 points a game. Star of his team. Star of his team, doing everything that he can. Brought them back from 18 deficit, 18 point deficit against the Thunder. Just doing everything to help this team. I thought, when I look at a player ranking list, I think this should indicate, first of all, how important that player is to their team. Mm-hmm. Second of all, what the team's record is or how the team's doing because of them. Are they winning games? And then next, you know, it's just a simple of, like we said before, this is just another one of those popularity contest things. You know, of course, you have some odd ones out, like Andre Drummond, who's not like a popular player. Mm-hmm. But of course, you have your Kevin Durant, your Steph Curry's. Every week, they're always going to be there. They could play like trash. They're still going to be on there. Along with LeBron. Even though I like LeBron, he also has that thing about him as well. Mm-hmm. Anthony Davis playing okay. I don't think he's one of those players that should be at least down the list. Not five. Yeah. Porzingis playing great, so can't take him off the list. Winning with a bad team. You know, Steph Curry, questionable. Andre Drummond, questionable. Kim Durant, playing better than Steph Curry. I would, If you were to put one representative of the Warriors, I think I'd put... Durant over Curry. Hmm. That's kind of... I, I might argue. I really dislike Steph Curry, guys. But honestly, his his play is... It's so head and shoulders above a lot of the players in the NBA that I feel like, even right now... Last week, I was pretty heated about Steph Curry being on the list because his efficiency was trash. But this week, he really has brought it back, and I think he is deserving of his top 10 spot. But I feel like I would take Kevin Durant off the list this week. I mean, whoever you take off the list, Kyrie Irving should be there, no matter what it is. Mm-hmm. You know, we may disagree on you know Kevin Durant, Steph Curry. At least one of those guys should yeah. be off the list for Kyrie. I think Kyrie and the, Sol- and the Celtics have done a marvelous job of getting back to the formula of Playing the young players, getting them a lot better so that when Gordon Hayward comes back and the team's a lot healthier during during this baking process and not microwave, mm-hmm. that this team will be good and suited up to go ready down the future, whether you know it's against the Bucks, like we talked about, yeah. or whether against the Cavs and then coming in the years to come. Agreed. Kyrie Irving's just too good to not be on this list. I mean, I know we shouldn't base it off of one game, but goddamn, last night he looked like a video game. That that dude was playing like a video game. He kind of does every game. He's ridi- he's ridiculous. His handles are in- ridiculous. They're I- insane. I wish I even had half the handles that he had. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's he's absolutely a beast. Uh, I think one that some people are going to say was left off the list is Giannis. Mm-hmm. I don't think he should be on the list this week, though. They've lost three, three in a row. Mm-hmm. And he had like a 14-point game against Charlotte, who Charlotte isn't that bad. Charlotte's another team that's flying under the radar right now, and they're playing pretty well. Yeah. So he, he's got to score more than 14 points against them. And considering he is the guy on the team. Well, how many assists and rebounds did he have? He had five assists in that game. He had 13 rebounds, though. So it wasn't a bad game. I'm not saying it's a bad game by any stretch. Yeah. I mean, but, not to just you know cut you off, but sometimes with players, I'm not trying to like defend why Giannis is not on the list, but you know, certain games... Mm-hmm. Certain players are have have different roles. Yeah, and I think that's like we said. Charlotte's a very underrated team, and I think they'll do all right. Mm-hmm. But like you said, he does need to score a little bit more for his team. What was the final score line of that game? One hundred twenty-one to one hundred twenty-six. So it was a close game, but close. you know they had to do. Giannis had to play a little bit better mm-hmm. to get that team to win, but they didn't. So I think it's just one of those things that we just need to look at and make sure that. We look at the whole storyline before we like jump to conclusions, but I agree he shouldn't be on the list. Yeah. After just, I mean, like one bad game isn't gonna like make or break you, but just you, based on the week, if your team hasn't won a single game in the week, you probably yeah. shouldn't make the list. But that is kind of why I am questioning of LeBron being number one on the list. They won one game, right? And mind you, it was a good team, the best team they played that week. But still, he shouldn't be number one when you lose your other your other games. Mm-hmm. Against the Hawks, come on. Yeah, it's just one of those things that you gotta like think like why you gotta weigh it out, weigh out all of it, not just the play for that player, but the the winning, like you said, 
there's a lot of factors that go into ranking how important a player is to the team. Yeah. And, of course, LeBron is the most important player on the Cavaliers. He might be the most important player in the whole league, which is why he wins MVP all the time. And he's probably the leader of the MVP race right now if the Cavs can start winning games. Exactly. And I just want them to... I also want ESPN, what I want them to do is actually tell us how to get on the list or what makes the list. Because... I want to know their logic and reasoning for some of these players that they've picked so far during these weeks. It's very questionable, some of them. Not saying that they're bad players, mm-hmm. but in terms of the week that they had, different players should be on that list. Yeah. Micah Richards, or whatever his name is. Who wrote this? What's his name? What? What's his name? My, Micah, Micah Adams. Adams. Micah Adams, we're coming for you, dog. Yeah. We know. We know what you're about, and you're not about the same stuff we are. You're not watching the same sport that we are. Yeah. Watch the charge, and we'll give you a real player Watch list. Watch the charge. We'll Micah give you Adams. a real player list. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, <laughs> this is going to be the episode of the charge. That took a turn. That took a turn. I got real upset with Mike Adams. You got real upset with Mike Adams. We'll catch you guys on the next episode of the charge. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe this video. Tell us in the comments down below who you think should be the number one player in the NBA. Is it LeBron? Is it Harden? Or is it... Steph Curry. Chris Stapps. Or the person God himself. Anyway, like, guys. Leangelo. More like Leangelo. <laughs> See ya. Peace.